Now at six, local leaders are discussing the rising cost of prescription drugs. State Representative Maurice West and Congressman Eric Sorensen met with community members and health care workers today, with West working to bring legislation to help combat high cost. People are making decisions of uh, choosing their medicine over food, choosing their medicine over lights. Why can't we have both? We're in the land of the free, home of the brave. We should be able to afford both. Residents are also behind that mission as they say they need the relief the legislation could provide. Prescription drugs are just way out of line. And I think it's, it's time Illinois looks at it and says, you know, we need to, to form a board. Congressman Sorensen is also working on legislation at the federal level to limit rising prices as well. And tonight, we're digging deeper into what exactly the Biden administration has been doing to lessen the burden for people enrolled in Medicare. Back in August, President Biden announced new agreements with drug manufacturers to lower the price of 10 popular drugs. At the top of the list is Elquis, a blood thinner used by almost 4 million people enrolled in Medicare. The current price for a 30-day supply is over $500, but in 2026, that price will drop to just $231. Other drugs over $500 like Jordanians and Alguerelto will be listed under $200, which is over 60% in savings. Now for a full list, you can head to whitehouse.gov. More drugs will be selected each year as part of Medicare's drug price negotiation program.